Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today, as we know, the Lord is coming. Our lesson today tells us that he is coming in judgment. Our passage today is Psalm chapter 2. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14 through 18. Saint Matthew 16, 27, 1 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 10, and Jude, with only one chapter, verse 15. So, as we look at Zephaniah chapter 1, 14 through 18, tells us, The great day of the Lord is near. Near and coming Quickly, the cry on the day of the Lord is bitter. The mighty warrior shouts his battle cry. That day will be a day of wrath, a day of distress and anguish, a day of trouble and ruin, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of cloud and blackness, a day of trumpet and the battle cry against the fortified cities and against the corner towers. I will bring such distress upon all people that they will grope about like those who are blind because they have sinned against the Lord. Your blood will be poured out like dust and your instruments like dung. Neither the silver nor their gold will be able to save them on that day of the Lord's wrath. In the fire of his jealousy, the whole earth will be consumed, for he will make a sudden end of all who live on the earth. When we look at Psalm chapter 2, we see why will the nations wail at the sign of his appearing or why will the lord laugh while the eden rage the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the lord and against his anointed because he comes in power and great glory and that is to judge the world. He will break the rebellious with a rod of iron and dash the ungodly in pieces. The Bible says like the potter's vessel. The psalmist expressed this in this poetic psalm of Messiah. Or when he returns, he comes to execute judgment and to set up his kingdom. We have seen from what we just read the account that Zephaniah gives us when the Lord comes. Um, what is going to happen? He comes to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of their ungodly deeds which they have committed and all of their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Jude 15. Jude, for only one chapter, verse 15. Paul writing to the Thessalonians say that the Lord Jesus shall be revealed in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 7, 8, and 9. This doctrine of the second coming of Christ might not be very popular. We like to talk about the gentle Galilean and the pattern of his noble life here on earth. 
that was in his first advent. But when he came on the earth a second time, he is coming to rule, he's coming to reign, but he is coming in judgment. Great judge is coming in power to pour out divine wrath and vengeance on this sinful world. Christ will come to restore all the blessings that were lost in the fall and to usher in his thousand year reign. But judgment must um, precede the blessings. Here, henceforth, there can be what? No universal righteousness until Satan and his ungodly followers are vanquished. So, Psalm tells us about these rebels. How they unite, but the sun will reign. National leaders throughout history have rebelled against God. And what? Against righteousness. Because they are ungodly. They may even promote ungodliness. They may even promote unright unrighteousness. But God laughs at their feeble attempts to defeat him. If we look at Psalm 2, verse 1 through 4, he says, Why do the nations conspire and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band themselves against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoff at them. So we see that while these kings are setting themselves in motion. God has a plan to give his kingdom on the earth to his son. And we see that in Psalm 2, verse 5 through 9. He says he rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king. On Zion, my holy mountain, I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, you are my son. Today, I have become your father. And ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance and the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like a pottery. Hebrew 1 verse 5 and 9. The kings who chose to honor the son will be blessed. Those who reject him will perish. Psalm 2, 10 through 12 tells us that. He says, Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son, or he will be hungry, and your way will lead to your destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Joel chapter 3, 9 through 11 tells us, Zechariah 14 and verse 2, Revelation 6, 15 through 19, Revelation 17, 14 is all telling us that all these kings are going to try to make war expecting oh that this is the lamb first advent he was 
the second advent he comes as the lion the mighty conquering lion of the tribe of judah and he shall overcome them for he is lord of lords and king of kings listen they that are with him the saints they are called they are chosen and they are faithful so today we know that when he comes to the earth once again to stand upon this earth he a second time he is coming in judgment god bless you thank you again for watching please like please subscribe please share and please leave your comments i would like to hear from you and continue to watch my youtube channel daily med with lady v